What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner, uh, bringing all kinds of good tips, tricks, and things that are going to help your relationship go to the next level. And if you're not in a relationship, you can you know, take some of these tips and tricks, keep them to the side, so when you do find that right person, then you can utilize these tips and tricks to make your relationship the best possible one you can. Yes. Um, so this week, it's a little personal, but at that point, I want to share these tips with you. So vacations, right? You know, vacations. Everybody should take one once in a while, anyway, right? Um, there's never a really right time, but you know, try to plan for a good time to do it. The summer. Um, <laughs> yeah. So with Therese and her just turning 35. He's he, totally lying. I'm really just 25. There you go, 25. Yeah, yeah that's 25. better for me too. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so. For her birthday, you know, we usually go out and we usually do a little vacation, a little trip anyway, right? Whether it's a couple days or whatever it is, we'll take what we can get, right? Yeah. So <laughs> at that point, you know, we want to go somewhere so we can go relax, revitalize, rejuvenate, you know, kind of recharge the battery so we can come back fresh. And obviously, Sharice wanted a little bit of time alone. She yeah. always likes to do that for her birthday. Uh, well, yeah, I don't, I'm not the one that likes, you know, he likes to have the big shebang with everybody around. Me personally, I like to be alone with maybe like, you know, if I am going to have a couple people around, we're like talking a max of 10. I don't want any more than 10 people and just everyone kind of just leave me alone for my birthday. I've always kind of been that way. But, you know, it's, I figured it was a good way to just, you know, we had all of our best friends under one roof, which was very, very, very cool. Most of them. Most of them, almost. Yeah, we're missing almost. a couple. We're couple, missing a couple, couple of stragglers. stragglers. Always, every time. <laughs> and then, um, you know, obviously, you know, me and him have some, you know, a little alone time, which is nice, you know, because we, we're always working, you know, yeah. we're always working, and then we're not working, we go home, and then Peter's at home, and then we, I mean, obviously have dinner with Peter, you know, do this with that, get up the next day, do it all over again, and just kind of just the cycle of just, bup, 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 you just forget to stop for a moment and like enjoy each other exactly. and enjoy the moment. Yep. And we, we went to Cabo and it was, yeah. it was so, so nice. I really, really needed it. Yeah. I actually, it was the first time in nine years that I didn't open my laptop for two days. And I know two days seems like that's not really like that much, but in my world, two days is probably about two weeks in your world. Yeah. So it was a long time and I, I took everything out of me not to open the laptop. I'm like, ah, I need to do it. But you know, it, it was nice to just kind of, you know, decompress compress and disconnect for a little bit i think it's important for mental health you know emotional health just it just you need it i really do think you need it and i think the big point to this because obviously we're talking about cubits corner and relationships so i think relationships will really benefit from this because it's time that you guys should be taking away for each other right and you guys spend as much time as possible together and have fun. Mm -hmm. You guys are making good memories. There should be no negative information, influences, nothing around you that's going to disturb your time. Right. You guys are spending time and quality time together, right? So if you guys are on vacation, try to disconnect from the phone. Mm -hmm. Try to disconnect from the computer, right? We all know everybody has to work. We know better than anybody else, okay? <laughs> And, you know, whether it's in the office or social media or whatever we're doing, we have to do it. But, you know, you want to take that time away and really just get away. And that can reignite relationships, too. So mm -hmm. let's say you guys' relationship isn't that good or things just aren't you know, clicking the way they used to be. Yeah. You guys might need that, you know, alone time to really grow together again, you know. Make sure those roots aren't broken. Put them back together, right? Spend that time in the bedroom. Yep. Nobody's there. It's yeah. just you guys. Yeah. So if you guys have family, you guys know what that's all about. Even if you have yeah. dogs and stuff like that. The dogs aren't that bad because you can kick them off the bed, right? Because <laughs> I do that often, you know. But, you know, if you got, you know, the kids are outside playing with the dog by the door and, you know, and, 
you know, maybe there's like, you know, your family member, John's daddy lives with us. I bless his heart for doing all the laundry for Peter. Thank you. Um, it's one less thing for me to do. But, you know, the laundry thingy is right outside our door. True. So, you know, it's, you know, it's, you gotta kind of, it just kind of disturbs things a little bit. So, to so get away and, you know, we had the whole floor to ourselves, yeah. which was super awesome. All I wanted to do, and not for any specific reason, I just wanted to scream just because I felt like I had the whole floor to myself and I could just scream as loud as I want. Nobody would ever tell me no and stop or anything because we're, we're on this huge, yeah. you know, we had this huge house that had like six floors and we, all of our, you know, we went, we went on this house with all our friends. So it was a lot of fun. You know, one tip I can give you guys that on this trip thing, right? So let's just say you do decide to go with a group of friends, right? And we're talking about the relationship thing. So obviously you have to be able to allocate the different time frames for like, you know, this is going to be our time, you know, whether it's in the bedroom right. or we're going to cuddle and snuggle and watch a movie or whatever it might be. And then we'll have this time for our friends or for your friends. It's, it's not like, you know, it's he had his best friend out there. So the last thing I'd want is, you know, okay, him and his best friend are playing pool until four o'clock in the morning because there was a pool table there and they, and he loves playing pool. Yeah. Um, but you know, until four o'clock in the morning and I'm sitting there staring at them. That'd be terrible. Right? So it's, you know, you got to use some of your common sense, you know, when it comes to things like this and kind of have a happy balance or just, just go by yourself. Go by yourself. Go by yourself. That really is that. That really is the key because go you don't have yourself. to worry about entertaining people. Yep. You don't have to worry about a schedule. Uh, I mean, that's, that's kind of where it is. Now, some people are different. They go on vacation. They have a very structured thing. They want to see all these different things, uh, you know, sightsee, this, that, whatever. That's fine if that's what you guys like to do. But listen, if you guys are going on vacation and that's not really a big thing to you guys, don't have a schedule. Yeah. Sleep in, enjoy, revitalize, yeah. recharge the batteries. Because then you're always like, you know, then you're like, oh, we got to get here. Hurry, yeah, hurry, 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 yeah. hurry. I mean, trust me, we have enough that day to day. You know, our, our little inside, you know, joke to me and Sharice <laughs> every day. <laughs> rush, 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 rush. Because literally, it's rush, 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 Everything we're doing, rush, 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 go, 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 Rush, 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 rush. So this is time for you guys to, you know, take it back a notch and not rush, rush, rush. It was just like, it was like rush. Yeah. Rush. It was still, you know, I still felt it, but it wasn't like rush, 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 rush yeah. all day, like this, like the Tasmanian devil. Yep. <laughs> just spin all day. Just spin it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Um, you know, the best thing, your your mantra should be enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Yes. Enjoy the place you're at. Enjoy the company you're with. Right. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the food or entertainment that's around you. That's another big thing. When you go on vacation. You know, you don't have to eat garbage. You don't have to eat like crap. Now, listen, if you want to splurge a little bit, that's cool. That's mm -hmm. fine. But, you know, don't get off track of what you're doing daily, your routine. I mean, some people, you know, they want to work out on vacation. Some people like, I want to take a break. That's cool, too. Just, you know, whatever, you know, floats your boat. Exactly. You know, whatever you feel comfortable with and that you want to do, what makes you happy. Right. Right. Because you're breaking away from work or whatever it is. You're with your partner. What's going to make you guys happy? You guys, too. You know, yeah, just not, not just one, one or the other. Or right? the other. You know, like, I'm going to do this and, you know, you can do this. It's, yeah. The whole point is for you guys to get away together. Right. You know, maybe couples massages. That's right. a good one. Couples maybe a bath together. If you got a big enough bathtub, that's, that's a, a good one. one. Maybe a shower together. Because, right. I mean, who, who, who a takes a shower anymore? Me and John can barely fit in our own shower together. <laughs> if I'm in there, I'm like this for, like, you know. Like, okay, we're done. I've had a minute of this. I, I, I'm, I'm cold. I don't have any of the water. <laughs> we had this shower there, and this shower was so cool. I've never, like... The shower was amazing. Listen, the whole bathroom was awesome. And, yeah. and you know, the little things in life that, like, yeah. makes me be like, woohoo, you know? I'm all excited about these things. But it had the the shower heads and there was like six shower heads on each side yep. and I'm like and one big one at the top one rain shower on one side and then another one that was larger so and either way you look at it one. right we were able to take a shower together and no one was cold yeah I still had water on me at some point in time and I wasn't <laughs> freezing to death like yeah. eee. <laughs> you know so yeah Ooh. exactly we didn't have hot water Ooh. first night that was fun um, but yeah outside of that you know it was it was nice but that's just you know a couple little things that you can do you know, together that it's, 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 you guys can connect Absolutely. like that, you Go know, enjoy lay by the pool, you know, together to talk about things like, you know, just break things down man. joke around. I mean, smiles and joking around, you know, making new memories. That's another big one. Like, 
Um, bring, you know, you obviously have your phone with you. Most people have phones. Fifty um, percent of those people have iPhones. So I know the camera on those things are awesome because <laughs> I have them, right? So take some pictures. You know, that's another good thing you guys can do. You know, do a time lapse. That's you know, make memories. John See, did a good time yeah, lapse. It was good. Yeah. It was well, cute. I I did like you know like two of them. Yeah, I know, pretty good. You know, another person did another one, so it was really really cool. Now you know with you know doing like all of that, you know, it t- kind of takes your 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 focus away from what you really should be doing. Because I'm worried about getting shots. I'm worried about getting content and stuff like that. But, I remind him. Don't worry. But I remind him. Later <laughs> on, you're going to be able to look back at that. Like, oh, my God, this was awesome. I'm so glad I got this. Or, you, you know, you have those memories. And mm-hmm. those memories take you back, right? And then they make you happy. You think about the good times and what was going on there. And then and you can, that stuff. at that point, when you do look at that, right, you, you can really visualize and plan oh i'm looking forward to the next time we get to do this you know and it gives you something to look forward to you know like oh i can't wait to do this again and you know i really enjoy my time with you so it's nice goals okay goals Goals. couple goals that's a couple goals that's us achieving those goals (laughs) and always progressing on those goals right you always want to make things better so that's what it's about you know and some people out there they they take things for granted we were talking about this the other night like you know like you know people start dating or after they're married and so long then you know things just they become routine right and you don't ever want that to happen don't let that happen um and always be grateful for what you have because it can be gone in a second Mm -hmm. so at that point live your life have good times and vacation okay (laughs) it doesn't need to be some crazy do you guys don't have to go to cabo literally you can you can literally book a hotel down the street that's right at some whatever place. That's right. And you could, you know, it could be a minimal amount of money. Yep. And you just go by yourselves with yep. just you and your significant other. Day just, vacation, it weekend could, vacation. You know, I, it took, it's the little things. You know, t- yeah. tonight I'm very excited. And the reason why I'm so excited is because movies are back, right? And me and John do movie night. And we have for years, right? Then COVID hit, movie shut down. And I, I lost my night with John. Like my, my we didn't get a night anymore. Yeah. Like sometimes I'd be like, oh, let's go to dinner. I miss my, my movie night with you. But still not like movie night, right? Because even at dinner, he might pull out his phone real quick. I'm like, we're at dinner, okay? And he's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, in the movie, he's forced to put the phone away. You have to put it away and just enjoy that, that like, little warm feeling, yeah. you know, in the, in, the, in the seats. And then, you know, I buy an extra seat for my purse because so, I just don't want anybody sitting next to me, to be quite honest with you. But, um, you know, it's worth the six bucks, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> That's my child. Yeah, so, sure. But I'm excited. It's little things like that that you guys can do together that make a big difference in your relationship and that you guys can apply. And it makes... It, it, trust me, it, it makes a world of a difference. And Absolutely. it could be the small little things. Absolutely. So that wraps it up for another Cupid's Corner Yay. every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC. And if you didn't DVR it or you missed it, make sure to check out YouTube, type Medical Center, type that bad boy in. You'll see all the shows and a lot of other cool content. Plus, check us out on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week with another Cupid's Corner. See ya.